Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create headers and footers in Elementor for free. So let's dive in. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is navigate back to our plugin section. So you can see this is what our header looks like right now. And if we go down, our footer is just this right now. We don't really have a footer menu or anything like that set up. So if we go back over here to plugins, we can go to add new. And what I'm going to do is add elements kit right here. And it's going to be the elements kit light plugin. It's this one right here at the start. If we click install, then we're going to click activate. And here we go. So from here, we can see that now we have this new tab on our left side. If we were to go in here, we can just go right and do my templates. But if you wanted to check out elements kit, you can see that there's different elements in here. And you're going to want to make sure in the module section that your header footer is enabled. They also have a mega menu option as well. Let's just go over to my templates for now and start creating. So if we click add new, we can just title this one. I'm just going to call it header test. And right here, we're going to leave it as header for the type, entire site as the option right here. And I'm going to turn this on. So I'm going to click Save Changes. And then from here, I'm going to go back and click Edit, Edit Content. And it's going to take us to this area where we can select a template. So if we go right here on this EK icon right here, let's go over to Headers. These are other options that they have. There's footers as well, and that's how we'll do the footers in a moment. But let's go to Headers first. And in here, they have different options based on your needs. Now, a lot of these are going to be pro options. You see it says Go Pro right here. Let's go to this one right here and just insert it as it is a free one. So it takes a moment and then it is inserted in. To get your menu to show up, let's just go and click on this first. And then we'll click Select Menu. And we can just put Main Menu. And that puts our menu in place once we do that. Now, other things that we can do is we can change the styling of different things. We can change the text. So let's just click on Elements Kit right here. And I'm going to just add a different logo or an icon in this case. I'll just add this one that I already uploaded. Insert the media. And there it is. It's put in place. Here's a search icon and appointment button. So if you want to change the text, why don't you just simply click on it. And you can change the text and change the URL that it goes to right in these areas. You can also go and style it and change the color. So let's just go and say we want a bit of a different color like this, for example. I'm just going to grab that text and copy it. And I'm also going to go to typography and I'm going to make the weight a little bit more bold for this text here. So maybe I'll just make it something like 800 and I'll increase the size a little bit. So it really stands out and pops there on our menu. If I'm happy with it, I can just click update and let's move on to this area up here with these social media icons. So if I wanted to, I can just click on this. And once it takes us to these icons, I think it's better to just duplicate it so you don't lose the effect of the hover. And I think if you add a new one by default, it comes with a box around it in the background. So if you want to, you can just click this to duplicate it. So let's just duplicate this dribble one right here. And I'm going to make this second one a YouTube icon. So let's just go and click in here and type in YouTube. And it will select it and insert it in. And now let's say I wanted to get rid of the non-YouTube one right here. I'll go and go to Dribble right here and I'll just click X on it. And that removes it from our options up here for the social media icons. If I want to get rid of LinkedIn, I'll just do that as well. And let's say you wanted to change the color to match more like this one is here, this button by default. We can just go right here and we can paste in our hex code that we copied from down there. We can do the same for Twitter. And I'll just go through each of these. I'll go to Facebook here and I'll paste that in as well. And I'll also go down to where it says Instagram. Click on that and paste that hex code in there as well. So now we see that this icon color is similar to the button color right below. So that is how you would change that. Again, you can change this text very easily. If you click on this area, you can change the phone number, email, the address. You can delete something if you want to add it there. So let's just say I want the address out of there. I'll just delete that. Maybe I go over to style here and then I can choose the alignment and just move it into the center as an option right here. Again, I can also go and change the different icon colors to match the other ones as well. So that's that color right there. And if I wanted to change the text color, I could also just paste that in as well. So that's how you would change those. 
If you want to change the actual color around this light blue color right here, let's right click edit section and we'll go to style again. And here you can adjust the section color here in the background. So maybe you wanted something a little bit like an off white, something like that, just as an example. And that would be how you would change your box at the top here to be a slightly different color. Now we can just go and click update to make these changes go into effect. And now our header is in place. There's so much you can do with this, but I just wanted to show you the basics here. So another thing we can do is let's go exit back to the dashboard and we'll create one for the footer. So let's go over to element kit, my templates. And from here, I'm going to add a new one and I'll go to footer and I'll just make this one say footer test, just like we did with the header test entire site. And I'll click this to be on, save the changes. And then I'll go over here, edit, edit content within footer. And it's going to load this area where we can put a pre-made kit in here with this. So if we go to footers, and again, a lot of these are going to say Go Pro. Let's just click this one that's free right here, insert that in, and then we can use this as the base to edit off of. So in here, we can also just change this elements kit to be our logo if we click on this. And then I'll go find this right here with the camera and insert that in. Another thing you could do is let's say you don't like how this social media links are over here. You'd rather not have an Instagram feed. You can just go and copy this right click copy and then just paste it in over here. And once it pastes in, I'm going to go over and right click and delete these ones over here, this icon. So it's not repetitive. Now we can also change the text that says Instagram feed to say something like get social and or like follow me on these platforms, something like that. If you want to remove this 2019 elements kit and then this area down here, you can simply just go and click the X to delete that section. You really can play around with it and make it even if you want on the bottom. You can also take out some text here and make it kind of level out a little bit as far as the text goes. And that is a nice way to get a nice footer in place very quickly right there. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful and I want to just say thanks for watching the video on how to create headers and footers in Elementor for free by using the Elements Kit plugin. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more WordPress related content. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.